Praise be to Jesus Christ. My name is Benedict of the Cross. I am using a pseudonym. I am a cloistered nun. I do not give my name because it is well known and to avoid the persecution that I have been suffering for many years. I have received a message from our Lord Jesus Christ at half past one in the morning and I want to share it with everyone. It is not a dogma of faith. Each one is free to believe or not, but I consider it is of great importance for the times we are living. I bless you all. Listen to the message the message. It says, Today I come to you as a soldier wounded in combat. I come to rest in your heart. I come with my heart wounded by the many sins of my people, Apostle of my Holy Cross. Speak and shout to the ears of my church, they will listen to you, but they will not pay attention to you, because their ears have become deaf to my voice and have been filled with evil. They have rebelled against their God and their Messiah. Tell them, thus says the Lord, in. What have I offended you? What evil have I done to you? Why do you profane my temple by burning incense to your unclean idols? But Israel will not listen to my voice. Thus says the Word, the Word made flesh. Listen to your God and Lord, O house of Israel. You have come in and defiled my house with your uncleanness. You have made my inheritance abominable and my priests have become wicked and despicable. They have become a land of jackals, idolaters, sacrilegious, and adulterers. They defile my house all the time and force my people to prostitute themselves with their idols. They do not recognize me as their Lord. They have altered my word and spread their errors everywhere. You have revealed yourselves against me by following false gods, the work of human hands, which are of no use. They have profaned my temple and have shaken your yoke. You have exchanged your glory for the service of darkness and have become darkness. My child, my people have abandoned me and betrayed me to go and serve false gods. They have turned away from the fountain of living water, pure and medicinal water to drink in stagnant, swampy and putrid waters. My church has strayed from the path that I taught her, and they walk wandering and in darkness. My church is divided among brethren, and they attack with fury, and look at each other as enemies in the same house. My church has prostituted itself and sells itself to the highest bidder, and with its bad example, and sin of scandal has perverted my people, and has deviated them from the truth. My church has fornicated with her many lovers, and has seated an impostor in the chair of Peter profaning the earth with her many wickednesses. They have taken my children out of my house, and have led adulterers and murderers to live. They have cornered me in the last place, and plan to wipe me from the face of the earth, just as a wife who betrays her husband. So have my priests and the princes of my church betrayed me. My wife has turned against me, and as head they have set up a wolf in false sheep's clothing, while they have me and my vicar in prison. Look at the wound in my heart. It represents the pain that my wife the church causes me. Return apostate children. Turn away from my eyes your affront, walk in justice and righteousness, tear your hearts and repent of your wickedness, 
lest my wrath break out suddenly like fire and burn inextinguishable because of your crimes. My people, my power is great and I see everything. I see your deeds and I weigh them. They are all written down in your book. You are free to choose life or eternal death. I know the works of men. Your hands are full of crimes. On you and your families falls innocent blood that cries out to my justice. Sin gives death and I am eternal life. I swear to you by my thrice holy name that I will not leave your wickedness unpunished. My people, you do not want to listen to my voice. You reject my commands and murder my prophets. You are responsible for your ruin and my mother suffers for your rebellion. Unfaithful people, to you I address myself, inhabitants of the earth. I will bring misfortune from the north, a great ruin, a catastrophe is coming upon you, the murderer of nations is on the march. He will devour the earth with its inhabitants, he will burn your cities, he will rape your wives, he will slaughter your children, he will plunder your houses and those who are left alive will not be able to buy or sell. Your temples will be profaned, and a great desolation will come upon my sanctuary. They will seek me, and will not find me. They will call me, and I will not answer, because you have chosen your own king, and have dared to usurp the chair of Peter. That is why I will deliver them to plunder, and to the sword. The angel of death advances at a swift pace, and the exterminator is at the door. You foolish people, a great ruin and desolation is coming upon you. I myself will scourge my church and purify it as gold is purified in the crucible. It will be refined like silver because your crimes overflow from the cup, your sin knocks at the gates of heaven, and the incense that you burn to your idols in my presence is abominable to me. I do not tolerate it. Days of great darkness await you where weeping will be your food. The executing angel is at the door and waits for the appointed time to be fulfilled. Woe to you inhabitants of the earth, if you do not turn away from your sin, your laughter will turn to weeping, and your feasts to mourning. You will mourn as one mourns the death of the only son. Woe to you Jerusalem! Wash your robes of your crimes, you foolish fools, for great ruin is coming upon you. You have not wanted to turn to your God, your only Lord. Prepare for the exodus. For having rebelled against me, I will bring upon you the fire of my wrath. You will reap the fruit of your wantonness and perversity. Woe to my people, the righteous, the little remnant faithful to my gospel. If I do not shorten these days, no one will be saved, and they will fall into apostasy. My priests have gone astray. Their many vices and sins blind your minds and hearts. Few are those who persevere in faithfulness. The princes of my church have become foolish. Pride is your sundress, and your mitre is pride. They have become deaf to my voice, and in their mouths is deceit. Their heart does not recognize me as God. They are rebellious children, fools who do not reflect. They have become wise to do evil, but ignorant and clumsy to do good. Truly I tell you, the earth with its inhabitants will look like a great cemetery, 
The innocence of the little ones has been corrupted because of the sin of the great ones, and the flower of the maidens is hardly distinguishable. Verily I say unto you, The earth and its inhabitants shall suffer great desolation, the great persecution shall come upon my feet. Woe to those days, woe to those women who are about to give birth, who shall comfort you. The sky will be darkened, the stars will be extinguished. I said it, and I do not regret it. I gave them a law that begets life, and they pretend to change it for a law of ruin and death. I have given them liberty to do good, and they do not cease to do evil. I commanded them to abstain from all idolatry, and gave them wise and prudent counsel, but they have rejected my doctrine. I made an everlasting covenant with you, giving you my commands to live in harmony, but you have refused to obey. Now I turn my back on you and deliver you into the hands of your own executioners. You will reap what you have sown. Thistles and thorns will be your food. The worst of the plagues will be communism. It will devastate most of the earth. The Marian sanctuaries will be preserved from the great scourge and will serve as spiritual refuges for the faithful church that keeps my mandates and the deposit of faith. This small remnant will be the victor, and from there my church will rise again. It will be smaller but holier, and will be clothed in regal purple, while the wicked will end in eternal ruin. To the princes of the church who speak with pride and raise up attestations against heaven, who use your influence to confuse and mislead my people, I assure you that they will end in eternal ruin. They will not see the light again because they have deprived my people of the light and the spiritual nourishment that gives life. They will be the laughing stock of the demons, and they will be slaves forever. My people, in what have I failed you? Your sin crucifies me all the time, and your disobedience are lashes that I receive without mercy. Truly I tell you, my wrath and my anger will be poured out upon the earth, because I am a God of justice. Those who have rejected my mercy will be treated without mercy. The earth will be in chaos and will burn without ceasing. It will be a flood not of water, but of devouring fire, and even nature itself will turn against you. Turn back, rebellious children. Stop doing evil and learn to do good. Repent and live for time is running out. What does it profit a man to accumulate riches and goods that perish, if in the end he loses his soul? The pride of man ends in the cemetery, and no one takes anything with him. The soul comes before me with the works of his hands, and many come empty-handed, Though they have given names to countries, yet when they die they take nothing with them. Be of good courage, O house of Israel, lest my wrath be suddenly kindled against you, and I destroy you without remedy. You choose heaven or hell. What are one hundred years compared to eternity? Apply yourselves to good you stiff-necked people. Woe to those who do not listen to my voice. Woe to those foolish ones who do not carry out my commands, the law that I left them as a pledge of my love. Woe to those who dare against heaven and defy their God. 
It would be better for them if they had never been born. My people, have you become blind and deaf, and think that I will not call you to account for your stewardship? Woe to those who attack my blessed mother, reject the grace that has been sent for your health. Woe to those who deny and curse my cross, do they not realize that it is me whom they reject? I assure you that they will descend into the abyss and will never see the light. I, the Lord your God, affirm to you, the cross is salvation for the soul. Some will rise to eternal life and others to eternal damnation. You fools! You foolish! Before you is life and death. Whatever you choose, that will be given to you. I bless you all. May my peace rest in your hearts and in those who remain faithful to my love. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Word of God. Share on social networks. And do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.